In this case study, I'm going to show you how to use Rehab Valuator if you are a wholesaler. So for that purpose, we're going to use an example deal. Very simple. Let's say you found a motivated seller of a single family home, three bedrooms, two baths in your area. And the homeowner, when you talk to them, they sound motivated and they want to get $62,000 for their property. You go out there, you take a look at the property, and you determine that in order to be able to sell this house, your end buyer, your wholesale buyer, will have to put $15,000 in repairs into the property. And from looking at the market, you determine that the after repair value, once these repairs have been done, is $100,000. And from having talked to your wholesale buyer, you know that they must be at 70% of the after repair value once they're finished with repairs. The first thing that you need to do is determine whether this deal fits your investment criteria. And if it doesn't, at the asking price, which the seller wants, $62,000, you need to figure out what the maximum price you can offer to the seller to make the deal work. And if you can negotiate the deal down to that price, then you need to lock up the property under contract. And then you will need to market it to your wholesale buyers. And I'm going to show you how to do all three of these. In the Rehab Valuator, you can click on Calculate Max Offer. And this is a tool that is available in the free version and in the premium version as well. And this is a standalone calculator that you can very quickly use to figure out what to offer on your wholesale deals. So let's go through this example. You can call the property 500 Main Street, just as an example. And you've already determined that $100,000 is the after repair value. And your wholesale buyer must be at 70% of that $100,000 after all of his costs, repairs, closing, holding costs, and your wholesale fee. You've determined that repairs are $15,000. And your wholesale buyer's closing costs when he purchases the property from you, assuming it's an all-cash deal, usually 2% is a good assumption. And let's assume $1,200 in holding costs. Or you know what, let's just ballpark it at $1,000 in holding costs. And if you're doing this analysis, you can ignore closing and holding costs as well. It's up to you. And let's assume you want to make $7,000 as your wholesale assignment fee. Voila, you see right there that the maximum you can offer to the seller to make this deal work and still make your $7,000 profit is $45,920. You pay your motivated seller roughly $46,000 for the property. Then you sign the contract to your wholesale buyer for $7,000 now your wholesale buyer's cost basis is roughly 53000 plus 15000 in repairs, closing costs, and holding costs. Your wholesale buyer's total cost basis is right around $70,000, which is 70% of 100000 Now your wholesale buyer who rehabbed the property can put it on the market for, let's say, 100000 and hopefully sell it at that price and then make his $30,000 profit minus whatever concessions and uh, closing costs he has associated with the sale. Pretty simple, right? But this, this tool will sell, save you a ton, a ton of time. So now that you've negotiated this property down to the right price, I'm going to show you how to very quickly punch in some numbers and create um, very quick marketing presentation for your wholesale buyers. If you go here, you can enter some numbers very quickly and create a report. So your purchase price, as we've concluded here, now this will be your wholesale buyer's purchase price. It will be 45920 and remember this is Excel so you can enter formulas equal 45920 plus $7,000 is your assignment fee. So your wholesale buyer pays you $52,920. Closing costs, you can enter them as a lump sum. You can just again ballpark equals 2 per times. 2% times, and what was our 
52,920. Return to analysis. Holding costs. Again, we can enter them detailed or we can enter them lump sum. So, as per our analysis and offer calculator, we'll enter a lump sum of $1,000 holding costs. And then we'll, we're assuming an all cash transaction. You can enter your wholesale buyer's financing assumptions here, but usually wholesale deals are cash. So this will be an all cash transaction. Then your rehab budget goes here. If you have rehab value or light, you can just enter a number here. This is premium, so you can go and actually enter a detailed rehab budget if you want. But we're just going to enter a lump sum and we conclude that $15,000 is what it takes to get this property into sale sellable condition. Return to analysis. And then we'll assume that it will take your wholesale buyer one month to rehab it after repair value is 100000 And it'll take them another three months to sell the property. So you can see immediately that your cash required for your wholesale buyer over the life of the project will be right around $70,000. And since your after repair value is 100000 and your buyer's cost basis is $70,000, his cost basis will be, as you can see here, 70% of the after repair value, which is his investment criteria. And then we'll assume that he sells the property for 100000 His cost of sale, together with closing costs, will be 7% of that. So your wholesale buyer's projected profit is $23,000. And given the fact that it takes him four months to do the whole project, one month to rehab, three months to sell, his cash on cash return will be 32.9%, but annualized, it will be 986 So from here, you go view reports, and the best thing to do is create the one-page marketing sheet for a flip scenario. You can click update information, and enter all of your property here, bedrooms, baths, square feet, your built, all of your personal information here, and it feeds into this report. Then you can enter property description here. So let's say property located in very nice area with good schools, one story rancher, all brick and then as far as work needed we'll say you know um, home needs primarily cosmetics new flooring paint bath fixtures etc and then you go down here and you can insert four pictures and it's Simplest thing in the world. You click insert pics. Go to your pictures folder. So we'll use the same house that I've been using for all the tutorials lately, which is the last deal I did last month. And you can look how easy it is. You select a picture, it automatically sizes to the box. So you insert these pics. Um, and then you could put captions so front now obviously I said brick rancher in my example but this is not a brick rancher but just ignore ignore that uh, back yard with deck etc etc and you're done you click print reports select the marketing sheet print selected Oh, another thing I forgot is, I apologize, you can enter your headline here. So, you can, you know, you can say, fantastic deal on a brick rancher. And again, we'll just ignore the fact that this is not a, bit, a picture of a brick rancher. And then you go print reports. And look at this, you've got a one-page marketing sheet, but it's got all of the information you could possibly want to show your wholesale buyers. You've got 
the basic property information here, your contact information, description of the property and of the work needed. Then you've got your assumptions. After repair value, 100000 your price to your wholesale buyer, rehab cost, holding and closing costs, his total cost basis, which is at 70% of ARV. So you're immediately showing your buyer that you this property fits his investment criteria. And then you're showing them projected results, projected sale, projected cost of sale, projected profit, and then his annualized ROI. You're making a pretty strong case for buying this deal from you if your buyer can make annualized 99% on his money. And here you're showing him how you're arriving at the annualized ROI because your total timeline projected to do this deal is four months. And your wholesale buyer may call you back and may, he may say, hey, um, run a scenario for me where it takes me six months instead of four months to do this job. But the goal is for you to show your buyer that you're approaching the business intelligently and that you understand how your buyer looks at deals. And that's it. And from here, it's this, it's very simple to print it to a PDF report and then you can just mail it. And we show you exactly how to do that as well. So that's it for this case study. If you have any questions, email me directly at Daniel, D-A-N-I-I-L, at RehabValuator.com. Thank you.